Here's something that most contractors and very few um, homeowners have ever heard of, and it's making your own concrete roofing tiles. And I don't recommend doing this because they're too heavy. You know, most of the time a, a factory that produces concrete roofing tiles for your shingles, um, they're using like lightweight materials like pumice, fly ash, uh, I don't even know if fly ash is right, vermiculite. They're using uh, materials and they're mixing it in with the concrete to make the concrete tiles lighter. If you just made your own concrete roofing tiles, you <clears throat> formed up a couple of, made a couple of wood forms in your backyard, poured it, made your own roofing tiles, they're too heavy for most roofs. So keep that in mind. They were actually having a problem where people were making these tiles in their backyards and um, putting them on people's houses and having the whole roof collapse. So I wanted to make a video on that because some of the things that um, have happened in the past to me and other people I know, um, it's kind of like it's unimaginable. And this is one of those things, you know, I couldn't imagine someone... Um, you know, some contractor going out and giving someone a bid to put concrete tiles on and <clears throat> actually using concrete tiles that they made in their backyard that are just too heavy um, for the roof. So your roof is only designed to carry a certain amount of weight. And, in your, and by the way, there's a good chance if you have composition or wood shingles on your roof right now, there's a good chance that you can't put tile um, shingles on there. So you need to check with a structural engineer. Don't just take your um, composition shingles off or your cedar shake shingles off of your roof and put tile on. Um, there's a good chance that, that your roof wasn't designed for tile. Um, verify that with a structural engineer before you do anything. And don't forget um, a lot of cities and counties require building permits for stuff like that too. So if you don't want to get in any trouble might want to contact your local building department also.